What is up guys? Uh, I got something for you, an install video today. You check this out. <sighs> Just kidding, it's not heavy at all. Uh, let's take a look. Open up this box. Let's see here. You see this? Genuine Volkswagen. Yep, gotta buy that factory part life. So, this, that's useless. This is what we need for today. This is the linkage for my wipers. This specific one is the original part. It uh, It is pre-greased, everything's set to go. I just have to go ahead and install it. So we'll go ahead and show you guys how to do this. It's a learning experience for both of us. Never done it before, so we'll see how this goes. As always, gotta put on the trusty old gloves. By the way guys, uh, I forgot to mention that the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking this masking tape and marking the location of the current linkage, or not the, oh my, I cannot talk. I'm going to be marking the location of the wiper blades, that way they're hopefully not way off when I go to put it back in. So that's the first step. Uh, make sure you guys do that because if you do not do that, more likely than not your wipers will be off and you won't be able to get them centered again. You'd have to take it off again, get them aligned. I'm, no one wants to drive around with their wipers halfway down. so. That is very important when you're doing linkage. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Okay, guys, next step, remove the wiper bolt caps and then remove the 13 millimeter nut holding the wiper arms onto the vehicle. That is the first step to get the wipers off. Alright guys, I know it's hard to see, but these little things right here, let me see if I hold it in front of my hand, those, that is the cover for those bolts. Make sure these don't go in your engine bay, they do flick off. All you need is a flathead screwdriver to remove it. That's all you need to do that. Very simple to do. You just pry it off real quick. It takes two seconds. Alrighty guys, the next step is to remove the wiper arm itself. All you gotta do is wiggle it a little bit. It'll pop right off of the bolt there and you're all set. That is the next step. Okay guys, I got one off. The second one doesn't want to come off, so I'm going to go ahead and spray some WD-40 on to loosen it up a little bit. guys we got the passenger side wiper off eventually we just had to use a little bit of WD-40 on it to get rid of all the rust and crap that was on it but it is off we went ahead we took the rain guard off this is the driver side rain guard you only need to take the driver side rain guard off do not take the passengers off it only makes it harder for you you'll have to put both back on this is already hard enough to put on and off so I recommend don't touch in the passenger side, only touching the driver's side. So now there are two T30 Torx bit bolts that we need to take off in order to get the transmission out. So I'll make sure to let you guys know how that goes. Okay guys, 
guys, I have now removed these torque nuts. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, I have removed them. The transmission will hopefully come out. If it doesn't come out now, I'll have to go ahead and remove the firewall cover and then it'll come out. Make sure you unplug the motor before you try to take it out. Otherwise, you may or may not pull one of the wires and it won't work after that. So please take note of that and make sure you do that. Hey, real quick guys, one thing I did not notice before I went to go take this up off, there is a bracket, actually I have the new one here. It looks like this. This part has a bolt, this side has a bolt that goes into the frame. If you don't unbolt that, it won't come out. Don't be an idiot like me. Tried to take it out. Didn't know there was a bolt there. So it's located right in front of the wiper transmission. You can't miss it unless you're me. So make sure you remove that. Okay guys, I have gone ahead and removed the transmission with the motor attached. This is what it looks like. So now there are three bolts on the back side of the motor here. There, there, and there. We have to take those three bolts off and put the new mounting bracket onto the motor and then install the new transmission. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, guys. As you guys saw, I had to apply a little bit of force, but the bracket is now off of the transmission itself. So now I just have to focus on getting the motor off. Once the motor is off, which it's about to fall off. All right guys, it definitely wasn't as close to coming off as I thought. There's this bolt here. I just have to take that off, throw it in the, the new transmission, and put it back in the car. Alrighty guys, after a little bit of messing around, here is the motor without the new transmission. Now I gotta go ahead and put the new transmission on. Guys, just a quick little update here. Right now I'm putting the Torx bit back into the mounting bracket for the wiper linkage. That way I can throw it back into the car. Okay guys, the motor is back on the linkage now, should be all set to go back in the car, hopefully I have everything lined up, might have been a little off, but we'll see. Oh my, I think I just saw the bug. <coughs> Jeez. Alright guys, I got the wiper transmission bolted back in. Now I'm going to go ahead and mount the wiper arms back on. Hopefully, hopefully, they're in the right position. But we'll see. Okie dokie guys, as you saw right there, I went ahead, bolted it on, tested the wipers. They do line up in the same spot. Hopefully it's all good. So I'm going to go ahead, 
reverse all the other steps, throw the covers back on it, throw the seal back on it, throw the foam back on it, call it quits for the night. Hopefully it all works out well. I'll make sure to let you guys know in a future video how it goes. Okay guys, so as a recap, I've thrown everything all back together now, um, it works fine, um, the blades go all the way back to the position they're supposed to be in, they don't stay high, which is a lot of people's problem because they don't mark where the blade is, so like I keep stressing it, but once again, make sure you mark where the blade is. Um, other than that, I'm just going to get cleaned up here, they work, um, I'll let you guys know how well it works. The reason I did the install on the wiper transmission is because when it gets cold, and as you guys know, I live in Illinois, so it gets cold quite often in the winter. And if it sits, my car sits out overnight, um, so when it gets cold, the wipers don't work in the morning. Um, my, my best explanation is the wiper transmission, so I'll keep you guys posted on that. Hopefully let you guys know what exactly is going on with it. But other than that, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, I did mention in a previous video that I do have some giveaways coming up. Um, I'm giving away a free dash cam at, uh, I haven't decided yet, but at a certain number of subscribers, I will be drawing a name and giving away a dash cam along with a few other things to be announced. So make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And thank you for watching. Remember, positivity is key for everything, guys. Thanks. Peace.